I can't believe La Belle and Rouge canceled our reservations last minute like that. I know, it's a load of BS. But look, the movie starts in 45 minutes and I'm not gonna be hungry for movie time. Thank God this restaurant is right next to the theater. Hi, welcome to Desmond Porva's House of Chow. <laughs> Allow me to uh, explain how things work around oh, No, we're not gonna, we're kind of on a time crunch, so we'll just figure it out as we go. Oh. Okay. Sure. What's with this menu? Uh, everything has a weird name and there aren't any descriptions? Yeah, I know, like, what the hell is Solomon's Soup? Yeah, hi. Actually, we have a no-secret policy at Desmond Porvis House of Chow. Excuse me? If you had allowed me to explain, I would have told you that we have a no-secret policy at Desmond Porvis House of Chow. <laughs> you not letting me explain kind of makes me feel like you think that I'm a punk. I'm sorry. It's fine. No worries. You were, uh, you're gonna order the Solomon soup? Yeah, we don't really know what it is, but we'll have some Solomon soup. Great, coming right up. <laughs> ah! It's my soup! Cut the sob story, bullshit, Solomon. You knew this could happen. Fuck you! I hate you! <laughs> Solomon soup for the lovely couple. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I see. Could have told me that like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> ah, now it kind of makes me feel like you think I'm a punk. We don't think you're a punk, it's just that you, you took that guy's soup and he, he seems pretty upset. Sorry your appetizer sucks so much shit and ass. That's, <laughs> I guess that's my bad. How, uh, you want entrees? How about some entrees? Or, uh, you want to continue making me look like a punk at my work? Okay, okay, um, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll order entrees. Yeah, I have a question about the beef avalanche. Oh, look who certainly has time for questions! What is it? I just, I've never had beef served in avalanche form before. <laughs> okay, so, it's like a big side of beef, and that's like the mountain. And then there's ground beef going down the side, and that's like the avalanche. And then there's three boiled potatoes to serve as the doomed skiers. Then they go on top of the beef, and if you don't eat all the beef in time, then the potato skiers die. That actually sounds kind of good. Yeah, it is good. It's inspired by Tibetan cuisine. What do you want? Um, I'll have the chicken. Great, you want that mashed? <laughs> mashed how so? I bring the chicken to your table and I mash it for you at the table so it's easier for you to eat. Um, non-mashed is fine. We only serve it mashed. <laughs> Just asked if I wanted it mashed. I made a mistake, holy shit! <laughs> Can you just bring me the chicken to the table that you would have mashed at the table and then just not mash it? That's not how it works at Desmond Porva's House of Chat. Desmond Porva serves mashed chicken, and I don't question Desmond Porva. You asking me to break all these rules like this kind of makes me feel like you think that I'm a punk, and I'm not a punk! Look, why can't we just have the chicken served in a different way? That's not how it works! It's not like you go to a museum and get to see a bunch of different arts. You go to a museum and you see the one art that they have in the lobby and you leave happy because you got to see an art. <laughs> so just be happy with the mashed chicken. That's Desmond Porva's art. That's my art. I don't know Desmond Porva. Got it. Um, we'll have the beef avalanche and the mashed chicken. Fantastic, I'll go get your crap now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's enough. We're leaving. Oh, no, we're gonna be hungry for movie time. Darling, we'll have to power through. We're going to see Adam Sandler's new movie, Jack and Jill. <laughs> it can't make this night any worse than it already is. You're right. Adam Sandler is hilarious. <laughs> You, you always do this to me! Solomon! You know I only get paid in tips. <laughs>